Hello and welcome to day 43 of our 2790 series. Today we're going to be reading Romans chapters 4, 5, and 6, the very heartbeat of uh, Paul's theological treatise to the Romans. Uh, and in here Paul begins to explain uh, the nature of humanity and the need for salvation. In chapter 4, uh, we read Paul as he tells us about how faith in the Lord is what justifies us before God. It's not really our behavior. It's and we had made the mistake in humanity of thinking that if we just behaved okay, that would make us okay, but it didn't really change our sin nature, it didn't change us on the inside. And so then he goes on in chapter 5 to explain uh, this, this concept that in Adam, uh, what theologically we, we would have originally called original sin or the sin nature, in Adam all have died, all have sinned. And so we have this original sin, this sin nature. And what Jesus did on the cross by Adam, all have sinned and therefore all died. But in Christ, all are made alive again. Uh, and sometimes uh, theologians, we make the mistake of thinking that that means that Jesus saved everybody. But what it's really talking about is the sin nature of humanity. Uh, we, because we are all free-willed creatures, we have this nature that kind of pushes us to disobedience against our maker. We want to do things our own way. We don't want to be humble. We don't want to be servants. We don't want to be obedient. And because we are like that, we need help. And so the law came in in order to help us to have a right relationship with our maker. But all it did was allowed us to begin to believe that if we just govern our behaviors, we'll be okay, but it never really dealt with uh, the nature that we have. And so the cross of Jesus Christ, Jesus dies on the cross so that by his death and by his blood, that sin nature is atoned for, and that atonement is for all human beings. But then the very quickly, Paul moves in chapter 6 to, well, wait a minute. Does that mean that it doesn't matter what we do? What shall we say then? Or should we continue in sin that grace might increase? And of course, the answer is no, because we were baptized into the blood of Christ. We have entered into a new covenant now, and that should produce the fruit of godly behavior. Our behavior is a result of the salvation that we've experienced in Jesus Christ. It's not the cause of it, but it stems and it flows out from it. So this is the heart of Paul's theological message, and, uh, and our next reading tomorrow, we're going to look at the person and the work of Jesus Christ. So you enjoy.